leads are claims against the real estate property. Hey, when you invest in real estate, you want to do it safely. So we're here today with Ted Thomas, who is the Tax Lien Certificate and Tax Seed Authority. And he's going to be talking about understanding property liens before you put that bid in. So Ted, before we get into the, the details of understanding property liens, can you tell the viewers a little bit how you find out if a property even has a lien on it to begin with? Okay, well, it's easy to find out if there's a lien, folks. You can go to the local county, that's called the public records, and liens are filed against the property, meaning they're filed so they attach to the property at the county records in the property file. So to start with, liens on real estate, they baffle the average investor and almost all real estate owners. So to locate the lien is reasonably easy to do. You can do that by just going to the county recorder's office. So there's a good place for you to start. Now in this episode, I'm gonna to try to simplify the process so that you understand that the lien is nothing more than a claim. What does that mean? It means that someone has a claim against the property. All of you will understand this right away. Most properties have a lien against them, which is a mortgage or a deed of trust. Sometimes the government has a claim against the property. That would be a tax lien or a tax lien certificate. So our business across the nation requires that all property owners agree when you buy a property that you will pay property tax. So that means if you didn't pay your property tax, that the local government would have a claim or a lien against your property. I'm oversimplifying so that you can get an, an understanding of all that. Now, who has the ability to file a lien? Well, the legislature, that's the government of the state. The legislature makes the rules. And when they make the rule, then they take the rule and they push it down to the board of supervisors and the treasurer so it could be enforced. All right, so liens will be enforced by the treasurer. And when I say the treasurer, that would include the tax collector. All right, so a lien is nothing more than a claim against that property. When you go to an auction, what the treasurer is gonna do, they're gonna wipe out the mortgage lien or a trustee. But what about other liens on the property? Will they still be there? And the answer is yes. Those liens could stay there on the property. And when you bought that property, you're gonna get all those liens. I don't think you want all those liens. So how are you gonna know if there is liens? You go to the county records and you can find out. Now folks, my name is Ted Thomas, as you already know. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate broker. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just an investor like you are. I'm a teacher and I'm a guide. So Ted, what exactly types of different liens can be placed on a property? Okay, well, let's start out with the easy liens or claims against the property. And that's going to be a mortgage or a deed of trust. It would also be the taxes on the property. But there's lots of other liens that could be on the property. For example, when the mortgage was put on the property, what the mortgage holder did is they signed a document that said they're pledging the property to the lender if it wasn't paid for. So that lender now has a claim against that property. Now, after that lien, everything gets a little bit sticky. So who knows what liens on the property? Again, you can always find out by going to the local county records, okay? Now, no one cares about your property like you do, so you wanna know before you buy it what liens could be there. How about the Internal Revenue Service? They could have a claim against your property. That would be called an IRS lien. How about Medicare? Of all things, people forget this. Well, Medicare liens are on properties all the time because the government files liens when they've had to pay people's health costs, and so they file a lien on the property. All right, now those are just basic liens. What about other liens? Well, let's think about this for a minute. There are people that won't pay spousal support. In other words, they had a divorce and they won't pay the other party. Well, that could end up as a judgment lien against the property. What about child support? What if someone doesn't pay it? It could be a judgment against the property. My point in telling you all this, all these liens could attach to a property. How would you know? You'd find them at the county records, but there could be dozens of them. Well, what are the financial and, um, and legal consequences of buying a property with a lien? Well, folks, if you buy a property, you're gonna get the roof, you're gonna get the walls, you're gonna get the driveway, you're gonna get the living room, the dining room, the kitchen. You're gonna get everything, and you're gonna get all the liens that attach to it. You're gonna get all those. 
So I'm not an attorney, so I can't tell you exactly what to do. So that means you should hire a skilled attorney and find out what liens are going to stay on that property. But better yet, if you're headed down to the auction right now, stop. You don't want to buy that property until you know every single lien that's on that property. What if the municipality had a lien on the property? It's not going away. When the property sells at auction, all the liens go with it. But people misinterpret that because they hear me say that the mortgage and the deed of trust lien are wiped out. The treasurer has the power to do that. Well, folks, all those other liens could still be in place. And I see people all the time buying properties that still have liens on them. Okay, whether the lien is disclosed or undisclosed, it should be disclosed at the county records. You want to buy property that's free of liens. You don't want any other kind of property. So do you have to do due diligence? Do you have to do research? The challenge is simple. You need to understand the lien process. If you don't, don't buy the property. Well, if somebody's interested in a piece of property, Ted, and they discover it does have a lien, what steps should they take? Well, savvy investors, um, I teach classes on this. I don't have time to teach it now because we're doing a, a short video. Actually, liens can be negotiated off a property. A lien can come off a property simply by having someone pay it. So let's say someone, a property had a spousal lien on In other words, the spouse didn't pay the other spouse and they owed money to it. Well, if they paid it off, then that lien would be satisfied and could be removed. So liens could be negotiated, they could be paid for, they could be satisfied. There's lots that could happen. The question that arises is, do you understand that these liens are staying on the property? And do you understand, don't buy until you know the liens are off the property? So it's possible for liens to be removed? And, and if that's true, how does, how is this done, Ted? All right. Well, the challenge for most investors is they don't understand. They're unsure of themselves when it comes to understanding lien. So I don't have time to teach that here, but you need to, you need to understand that the liens can be taken off the property by paying for them. They could be negotiated off the property. So assume that any lien that is at the county records on the property is going to stay on the property and it will stay there until it's either negotiated off or it's paid off. But that lien must be paid in full or it must be negotiated off the property. Now, folks, quiet title attorneys know this happens all the time. So you want to buy a property. It shows it has two mortgages on it. All right. Well, the county treasurer, when you're buying at the auction, can wipe those mortgages off the property. All right. So attorneys will tell you all the time, under no, most circumstances, people just sell a property and the lien drops off the property because the lender clears it off the property. So you're getting the idea. So if you don't understand the lien process, I'm going to tell you, hire a skilled attorney, hire a title company, but don't buy the property unless you know the lien situation because you could be in real deep trouble. You know, if you're watching this video, you probably gathered from Ted that, you know, understanding liens is really important to making a safe investment. So you might have some other questions for Ted. If so, leave in the comment section below. You will get an answer on that. And while you're down there, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to Ted's channel. Ted, uh, they can't have a lien. They can't find a property until they find an auction that's selling properties. Do you have any help there for them? Well, they can go right below me and there's an auction calendar and um, they'll be able to find uh, electronically. They can just do it with a cursor uh, from their computer and they can find out where the auctions are in every state, in every county in the United States. So there's 3,000 counties, over 5,000 auctions. We have all that information. Go right below me and we'll give you a demonstration. Just click in the description below.